What is up everyone and welcome back. Today we are checking out the new Vegeta and what he can do. We're also going to be live reacting to the man's super attack animations because I just simply have not seen them yet. I hope you guys enjoy. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to the channel for more content as well as that notification bell so you don't uh, miss anything we upload here on the channel. I want you also to roast me. So you got this green screen back here. And it's because I haven't finished setting up everything. I'm still setting up everything for my streams and stuff. Roast me. What does that green screen make you think of? You know, I got it and it's back there. It's not in use. <laughs> okay. So actually, like I said, first things first, I wanted to live react to Vegeta's animations. Um, I didn't get to watch the reveals and stuff. To be honest, I was up really late last night and I just overslept. And for me, this stuff comes out at like 6 a.m. So I've got to be up and on it because also after that, I've got to get my daughter ready for school and we got to head out and it's hectic. All right. That music, though. Is that copyrighted music? Think again. What? Think again. Ah, are you? Why are you? Which, by the way, it certainly is copyrighted music. Yeah, you? Hopefully, YouTube doesn't claim it. <laughs> Sell sound effects. <laughs> 16 looks cool. By the way, this is our first 16 from the Cell Saga. What? Yeah, we don't have a 16 from the Cell Saga. Only the Android Saga. Ooh, that looked clean. Power was created to destroy Goku. Shout out to my boy Joku. You've been waiting for this. I told you Vegeta was going to get some solo units this year. Ooh, -hoo! he's got to be red, isn't he? Because Trunks was red and he's Zenkai, so I'm pretty sure. Oh, he looks really good. The model is really good. That's not the same model as the other one, isn't? That's a new one. I also like the blondish hair, like it's almost like blonde. It looks really good. Which Legends does do that, but it just looks nice. Final Flash LF. Is he gonna do the thumb thing? He's totally doing it. Like that cell. Oh, that's it. Ah, oh, I thought it was somebody was gonna be like, oh yeah, I just kicked your ass. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what the what the ending was after he fired it off though in the series. Maybe that's what he does. Uh, in fact, that sounds about right. So if you're keeping track, Vegeta's coming out tonight. Um, for me, it's 11 p.m. Actually, I think it's 10 with daylight savings time. Anyway, uh, it's coming out tonight, and 16's coming out alongside him. So it's another solo solo uh, sparking, um, one percent sparking, one LF. Unfortunately. Now we got the info for Vegeta. Let's check out live what he is doing. All right, so Vegeta's abilities. And again, remember, thumbs up, subscribe, post down below as well, aside from the roast thing. How do you feel about this Vegeta? Post it. All right, <clears throat> so main ability, draws the ultimate arts card, final destruction next. Restore his own health by 25% and key by 50. Charges own gauge by 50%. Restores vanishing gauge by 100%. Applies nullify cover changes for 10 seconds, 10 counts, and reduces enemies' Dragon Balls by one. That's a lot of stuff going on. You got a Vanish Gauge, half of a Unique Gauge, Health, Key, Ultimate Draw, nullify cover change for 10 seconds, or 10 counts. I keep saying seconds because it's not it's not real time. Like, there are stop clocks and stuff like that. Uh, reduces Dragon Balls as well by one. So, the ability is Vegeta Clan, Strike Attack, and Defense during battle. Wait, did it show his color? Where's his color? Oh, yeah, yeah. Element red. Unsurprising. Um, I did also see that they are doing something I also said they probably would be doing in my prediction video. If you didn't see it, check it out. I'll leave it down below in the description. But I said, you know, they're probably going to Zenkai that Revival Cell. So he is getting a Zenkai. Um, anyway, draws the ultimate. I already saw that. So Vegeta Clan, Strike Attack and Defense. Okay, um, my immediate thought about this, without seeing anything in his kit, maybe he has a lot of neutral, whatever the case is. It's unfortunate because Vegeta Clan has a lot of good red units. The Trunks is solid. Obviously, the ape Vegeta too. A lot of good red characters. Um, so, I don't really love that too much. Like, I wish he was maybe a different color, but he's probably here to shut down UI Goku. That's It's been a couple of months. That's typically about how things go. All right, so strike attack and defense. Uh, and then moving on to the strike. Uh, reduces enemies key by 30 on hit and blast armor. Okay. Ooh. Real troublesome. Reduce key by 30 on hit with the blast starts as well. Massive impact inflicts all enemies with the downgrade of minus 70%. 
<laughs> I don't know why I emphasize. For 10 counts upon activation. On activation, not even on hit. Okay. Destroys all of your own cards again on activation. Applies volume effects itself based on the number of cards destroyed. Zero cards, you still get a plus 30%. If it's one card, you get 40% and restore key. And if you destroy two or more cards, you get 60% and restore 50 key. All right. Green card. Randomly draws one new card, restores key by 50, charges own gauge by 20%, plus 15% to damage inflicted for 15 counts, 15% to health restoration for 15 counts, and 50, or minus 15 to own special move arts cost, cannot be stacked, randomly destroys two enemy cards. What's the what's the play on words with all these 15s? Is this some sort of like gimmick? Is, it, is there like some sort of like in series reason why it's 15 for 15, 15 for 15, and minus 15? You know how they do that sometimes, like Goku and stuff. I, although, Dokkan is a lot more liable to do something like that than Legends is. Anyway. Uh, so you destroy two cards. Extra health, extra damage. 20% to the unique gauge. Draw a card for free. Restore a key by 50. And then also reduce the blue card. I mean, it's a it's a good green. It's just not like a great, crazy, earth-shattering one. Right? But it is a good one. It does a lot of things for a stop clock one. All right, so the ultimate here, massive impact damage, applies volume effects itself upon activation, plus 40% to ultimate damage inflicted for three counts, and nullifies endurance. Okay. And then if the gauge is full, applies volume effects itself on activation, get 30% more ultimate damage. Ooh, boy, that final flash is going to kill you with that ultimate. <laughs> with that charged gauge, excuse me. Minus 30% sustained damage cut effects. Oh, yeah, he's going to tear through you. Um... My only thing is, like, with characters like UI, he UI kind of deals with ultimates okay. He just doesn't like special moves. So the special move, though, you know what? This special move is going to damn near one-shot UI. I'm pretty sure it is. If, if with a full hand, it's going to it's gonna take a lot of life off. Probably about 65% on average, maybe 70. I totally pulled that number out of my butt, but <laughs> I got the vision, man. And then with crappy equips versus good... Equips on Vegeta, he's gonna one-shot the UI. Um <clears throat> Unique Ability 1. Applies falling effects to self when the battle starts. Gets 30% unique gauge charged, plus 100 percent damage, 70% cut, and increases arts card draw speed by one level. The falling effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Draw a strike arts next. Okay, like I like that pivot option. Restores key plus damage plus next strike arts damage by 50%. And all enemies with two sub counts. That is the return of that red cooler effect. Slash other characters that no. This is just on flat entry of the battlefield. This is better. Wasn't cooler's on when he used the card? Did, did cooler have to land the hit as well? No, I think it's just on activation. This is better. This is like green Majin Buu. Right? That's who it is, right? There's other characters, but I think it's Green Margin Blue, I'm thinking. Oh, this is troublesome. Because this is an instant lock. This is a lock. Like, this is a free rush. Now, the good news is, it is a sub-count manipulation, and a lot of characters that came out in the last, like, five, six months are reducing a lot of sub-count all over the place. So, I mean, you can play around it if you got the right characters, but if you don't, you're kind of screwed. Uh, I do like the rest of that, though. Applies funding effects itself when there is two defeated battle members. Restores health and charges gauge by 50%. His gauge is going to be legendary, isn't it? There's so much gauge charging. It's a very far cry from the original gauges and how those work. The falling effects occur every three counts when this character is on the battlefield. Restores health by 3% and key by 20. Plus 20% damage inflicted up to 60%, which exactly is, I think, the ratio of the... Of, of how far we are into this video without you liking it or subscribing. That one was kind of sloppy. That was kind of I was trying to find a good spot to play. But yeah, if you haven't already. <laughs> Last reminder of the video, probably. All right. Uh, so anyway, restores health. Every time he is... For every three counts. Okay, every three counts. He gets health and key and then damage. And that does reset after switch. So, okay, it's a little bit of that, like, powering up progressive style, you know? Okay, delayed effects. All right, inflicts uh, inflicts enemies to actually downgrade a plus ten percent damage received for ten counts. Ooh, that happens every three counts. I mean, it's only ten percent for ten counts, so you're not gonna stack very many of those. You're getting what three at max? 
it's still solid. Also, when he's on the battlefield on the defensive, the plus three arts card cost three times is actually pretty significant. Now, the downside is if they're immune to these things, right? But in an ideal world, they won't be. The falling effects occur when the enemy switches while this character is on the battlefield. Plus damage, 15% for 10 counts. Jordan's ally substitution by by two for five. Okay, see, this is kind of, this is my point. A lot of characters nowadays just chop sub count for the longest time. And I'm talking all the way back when characters like that blue Gohan from the Broly movie, you know, that how they got the family coming out and all that stuff, where he was coming out and didn't his ultimate just chop all the sub count off. Like, I've been saying that that's the most broken ability in this game. And they're finally, like, there were characters that leveraged it, but they're finally putting it on a lot of characters. And it's getting to a point where if you don't leverage it in some capacity, then you're automatically behind the eight ball if you're a character. Now, this one in particular is really strong in the mirror match because it's minus two and the other one will be plus two. So in a situation where the Vegeta switches into your Vegeta, um, he would do the plus two, you'd do the two off, and then nothing would basically happen, all right? So that's kind of what's happening here. But five times is pretty significant. Um, also, like, this is also more significant on the offensive because Vegeta does all that strike and stuff like that. Uh, if Vegeta's got you in a combo and you're switching to try to, like, mitigate the damage or spread the damage out between multiple characters, which is a viable thing, I do that myself, you're gonna keep on chopping off the sub count, which will then make it so he can keep the combo most likely going longer by switching to other characters, getting key gain, maybe card draw, things like that. So there's a lot of usefulness in sub count reduction, especially when it's deployed like this. Reduces enemies key by 20, also inflicts all enemies with an attribute downgrade of minus 10% to their strike and blast arts power uh, for 10 counts, okay? Yeah, so a lot of defensive stuff here. Inflicts all enemies with minus 30% special move, ultimate, and awaken arts for 10 counts, okay. So, I, I believe UI Goku, for example, doesn't call out the special move, um, which was what made, like, Red Gohan just blitz him so bad. But this guy is calling it. Special and ultimate and awaken. Strike and blast power. Um, and then, if they're switching and things like that, Vegeta's gonna also do that plus three to all costs, all that stuff. So, interesting utility defensively. All right. Knockback versus strikes, combos into blues, rapidly charges own gauge while this character is on the battlefield. It automatically charges, okay. Falling effects occur uh, once unique gauge is full. Stores vanish by 100%, activates three times. Nullifies unfavorable element factors for 15 counts, can't be canceled. There's no cap on however many times he'll go neutral, that's good. He goes, uh, he gains the ability to nullify cover changes for 10 counts can be canceled uh but does not have a cap on however many times cancels his own downgrades and abnormal conditions nullifies his own downgrades and abnormal conditions for 10 counts steals the enemy's blues and awakened arts uh the sealed arts can't be used for five counts steals a rising rush steals all enemies main abilities for five counts as well okay hold on this is a lot so rapidly recharges while his character's on the battlefield and then when it's full, he's triggering a full Vanish Restoration, going neutral, picking up Nullify Cover Change, canceling downgrades and conditions, and then applying immunity to downgrades and conditions, steals the enemy's blues and awakened arts. Okay, so there, I was like, I was getting confused here because there's like so many things happening. And what's happening here is he's he's going offense and defense. It looks like his gauge just, just goes up, and then when it's full, it's triggering a bunch of effects that you may or may not need, right? Maybe you don't need the, the, the top half of this as more offense-based, but maybe you, need, you do need the defense half. So on that front, he's sealing blues, ultimates, and awakened arts. He's also um, sealing a rising rush and sealing main abilities. My God, like <laughs> comboing that with sometimes leveraging a, a no switch is really crazy. Uh, applies falling effect itself when the gauge is full. Oh, he also gets this. Okay, so he gets... He gets a plus 30% damage increase and plus one draw speed. Can't be canceled. I'm assuming these are just one-time things, right? It just says also applies it. I'm assuming these are just one-time things. Because if that just kept going up and up and up, that's kind of crazy. I don't think it is. Resets gauge to zero. And the following effects occur when this character is switched to standby. Oh, when he switches out, his gauge goes to zero. I hella just... Mm. Oh, okay. So that's why he has so much charging. 
And that's why he has gimmicks like, oh, while well, he's out there for X number of counts, trigger X effect. Because he's like, he's a character that's supposed to stay out there as long as possible. Interesting. Okay. I mean, there's not much reason to have to switch him out because he can constantly proc things like nullify, cover change, neutrality, and the vanish restoration if he's just getting full gauges. And then he has abilities that can charge the gauge automatically, like the green main ability. Uh, I think there was one more in there. So he has stuff. So they just want you to leave him out there. Okay, that's fair. And then he gets draw speed and damage uh, when it's full. But when, when he switches out, he restores his health. Restores allies key and gives allies damage. A little bit of support there, okay? Also applies the following effects itself if the gauge had been full. So if it resets when it was full, he restores his health by 10%, shortens sub count by four. Okay. Shortening his own sub count when he switches out is insane, by the way. It means he's coming back super quick. I like the healing too. Um, does he restore 20% health here? No, no, I think it's, sw it's swapping. It's 10%. Okay, so one thing I was kind of like not really considering is I am assuming Vegeta's gauge will stay full. At first, when I was reading it, I was thinking it was like UI, not not UI Goku. I was thinking it was like um, uh, the gauge on the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. Like it almost it also almost reads the same where he's picking up Vanish. He's doing all this. It's just a better version of it. Um, but that guy's just keeps refilling while this guy's is like okay. I'm done. I'm gone. So, uh, until you switch him back out, and then the cycle starts again. That's why I was like, when I was reading the damage up, let me pull it back over here. When I was reading the damage and stuff, I was like, wait, this has to be a one time. The damage and draw speed. I was like, that, that has to be a one time thing, right? But really, it's because there's no way. I wasn't understanding at the time that there's no way for him to empty the gauge unless he switches out. So, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Vegeta, um, I'm going to tell you right now. There's not one thing in Vegeta's kit that I think is as broken as like 17's green card or a couple of things 17 is doing, but that doesn't mean he's not as good. It doesn't mean 17's better. I'm not going to gauge that until I use him or play against him a number of times, things like that. Um, fun fact, I still haven't used my 17, ironically. Anyway, <laughs> I just, I'm, not a, I'm not a 17 fan. I like GT. I'm not a fan. You know what kind of screwed me is I really wanted Bulla. I would have done so many videos with Bulla by now. Anyway, um... I'm not going to really like gauge it like that until I see him in action. But what's kind of happening here with this guy is I think he's going to be immensely powerful. Let's go ahead and pull up Vegeta clan real quick and we'll get out of here. And this is what we got here. Uh, I'm on the other space site. So it might be a little bit out of date with like the Zen. Yeah, like Renzi hasn't even pushed the Zenkai. Oh, no, he did. I just didn't see. Anyway, anyway. We're on the other space site. Might be a little bit out of date with some of that stuff. But it looks like for the most part it's up to date because Pan is here. Um, so if we look at this team. And uh, our options are, are pretty strong actually. For either way you want to build this team. You've got Pan, Trunks, and Giru. They're really strong. You also have the Super Saiyan Trunks who's still a solid character. You have Blast based characters. Like these couple of tags up here that you could use if you want to. You've got the other red characters like I mentioned earlier. Immensely strong character here. Kind of unfortunate that they're all red. But you also have this Trunks here you can also use. Who Zenkai is not posted here. So that's about, I, I guess how out of date it is. About a week or whatever. Um, so Vegeta Clan is shaping up to be a solid team. You know what I think would really set Vegeta Clan over the edge of being a really strong team? And it's not going to happen here because... Uh, this is not, these characters aren't part of this campaign, but for Vegeta clan, and they've also got some other good stuff like Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta getting that equipped, blah, blah. Um, <clears throat> what I'm looking for, aside from another strong character, which early prediction is that the ultra is Gohan, which means that, by the way, I'm probably skipping Vegeta. Uh, I want Vegeta, but if the ultra is Gohan, I'm going all the way. Like, I just, I'm skipped. But a Zenkai for this Trunks would be immense. Uh, he... He still has some really solid stuff in his kit by today's standards. 35% to ally damage for 20 counts is ridiculous. Uh, not to mention what he himself can do, but that one thing I think would make Vegeta clan insane. Um, also, yellow Vegeta Zenkai, kind of bummed he didn't have it happen during the Boo Saga campaign. Maybe they'll run Boo Saga V2 and he'll get it, but he is a character that's super high on the list. And this guy also super high on the list. You can still, I guess, use him a little bit. I did recently in a video. You can still, I guess. But he's just such dead weight. 
But yeah, Vegeta Clan is really interesting. So summarizing back to Vegeta before we get out of here, I think he's going to be immensely powerful. And at this point, I think any new character that's dropping is easily like top five, top six at worst, right? So I'm expecting Vegeta to also firmly sit in that area. Uh, when we look at the roster of characters currently, in terms of blue characters, uh, there are some good blue characters, but I don't think it's like as terrible for him in particular, especially being like a strike based one. Um, and also all that neutrality. I mean, there's some really good stuff here like Bardock. You've got the, the newer Goku 17 and Beast Gohan still holding on strong. Super Janemba. The rest of these guys are just kind of okay. Um, but those are the main ones you're looking at. But if we look at the yellow color as well, I think that yellow is not really a particularly strong character color either. But I think yellow is going to start getting a little bit suppressed here. Uh, because Ultra Instinct Goku is like the main one holding this grouping up. You have other really good characters though, like the Gammas. I don't want to, I don't want to like, you know, undervalue or underrate them. The Gammas are immense. They're incredibly good. You've got other good characters here, like the Bardock, Zenkai, Golden Frieza, Pan and, and Trunks and Giru, all solid characters. Uh, but I think your, Yellow's main usage right now is with Ultra Instinct Goku. And I think that Yellow's going to wind up getting a little bit suppressed by this. Uh, and you're going to make sure that most people are going to make sure they're having probably a couple of blues on their team and so when we cycle back over to green vegeta clan has a couple of green characters it doesn't look like they have too many other great options at least towards the top of the list but their main culprits that you're going to be using are these one of these tag characters uh it would have been really nice if the tag fours got an equip or a zenkai something during that campaign they did not probably i would assume happens during the anniversary when i'm assuming we get super saiyan 4 gogeta's ultra um so it's a little bit of ways away, but the good news is, uh, how do you feel about this character? This character is kind of controversial. Like I, I noticed it like a couple of weeks after they came out, things became really controversial for this. How do you feel about them? So what do you think? <laughs>